The last topic we'll touch this week is using experiments as a measurement, and we'll use an example, which is the trust game. So we'll go through a classic study which measures trust in the lab, and this has been replicated in many different labs. And then we're going into an example where the researcher measures trust in the field. So this is an example of lab in the field, and then use the measurement to predict people's real economic behavior. So this is potentially a very important and promising. Aspect of experimental methods. We all agree that trust plays an important role in economic and social transactions.、Uh, for instance, Professor Resnick has studied the effect of trust on transactions, online transactions such as eBay. When you make a loan, when a financial institution makes a loan, it has to have reasonable trust that the client will repay the loan. Trust is a lubricant that is underlying many of the economic activities. Despite its importance, people for a long time could not agree on how to define or measure trust. So the other interesting aspect about trust is it is not clear what is the causal relationship between economic outcomes and trust. Do people Trust each other more. Therefore, they have more transactions with each other. Therefore, you observe more economic growth. Or, you know, do we have better institutions that encourages both economic growth and trust in society? So, for a long time, people could not decide what is the causal relationship involving trust. So, we're going to look at one classic example which measures trust in the lab. And look at how it might be used to predict economic behavior. So, how do we measure trust? Lots of times, the survey methodologists usually say、so、you can just ask people. So, for example, a very well-known example is the World Value Survey, which asks this question: Generally speaking, would you say that most people can be trusted, or that you cannot be too careful in dealing with people? So the question is, how reliable are survey answers?、Um, it would be nice to have experimental tools that allows measurements of trusting and trustworthy behavior, which are incentivized. And that leads to the Berg, Dickout, and McCabe paper on trust, reciprocity, and social history. I'm going to go through the main results of this paper. It's primarily on the design. So the question really is whether trust is a primitive behavior that can emerge in the absence of repeated interactions, reputations, contracts, and potential punishment threats. To measure this, to answer this question, they came up with an experiment design where subjects are anonymous and they engage in a trust game, which happens only once. So it's a one-shot game. At this point, you should go to Mob Lab, log in. You play the trust game. After you finish, you can come back and listen to the rest of the lecture.